Hey guys, and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike with Designs by M, and today I am going to be making this card. It's really cute. It's got this three-dimensional butterfly here, I'm trying to hold it up so you guys can see it. And I went ahead and embellished it with some Nouveau drops and some buttons. I wanted some bling, but I really didn't have any purple bling to, uh, to make it shine. So this is the card we're making. Uh, I am using supplies from my sponsor, Create for Less. So make sure you guys go ahead and check them out. I will have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's make a card. All right, so let me show you the supplies and the tools that I am using today, most of them anyways, and I'll show you more as we go along. The first thing that I am using, or I did use, was the Sizzix Thinlets, and this is the Butterfly. And so it comes with both of these, and there's four dies actually. And one of the dies gives you a solid background, and then the other one gives you one that you can overlay on top. So I went ahead and I cut that out, and as you can see, it will layer on top of each other nicely. Now, the, um, this cardstock was just something that I had in my stash. This was the black from the, it's upside down. This is from the Paper Accents cardstock primaries, and I will also be using the pearlized cardstock. So this is where the butterfly came from. So for my card base, this is the cream colored pearlized, and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. I also have, this is the pearlized purple, and this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I have three pieces of pattern paper that I had in my stash. These are one by four. I have these black pieces that came from the primaries and these are cut at one and a quarter by four and a quarter. I am going to use the same color as the panel and this is going to be two by one and then the cream color is going to be one and seven eighths by seven eighths. So those are the card stock pieces that I'm going to use again all the paper came from these two sets with the exception of the pattern paper which I had in my stash. So let's go ahead and start the assembly. Now the first thing that I think I want to do is stamp my sentiment. Because I'm using the pearlized cardstock, I don't, it's kind of glossy, so I don't know how well this is going to dry when I stamp on it. So I'm using my stamp positioner and tons of magnets. And I'm going to use this fresh fig that I have that doesn't have a lot of ink on it. It's kind of an old ink pad. So I apologize if the camera is bouncing and it's all over the place, but let's see how this works. Kind of light, so let's do it again. That's a big mess. There we go, maybe one more time. And that's the great thing about the stamp positioner is I can stamp and stamp and stamp and stamp and it will come in the same exact spot so that I can go ahead and do this. And that looks good to me. So let me go ahead and clean up this side before my OCD goes crazy and we'll allow this to dry and finish the card. All right, so I now I'm gonna go ahead and glue on my um, panel and I'm trying to show you how this pearlized paper looks. It's really pretty. I'm not sure if the camera can actually pick that up, but I'm gonna use glue just so that I can go ahead and gives me an extra few seconds to for wiggle room to make sure that I get that centered. And we'll do that now just because I am not sure how long it's gonna take for this. Because it's really slick, I wanna make sure that it dries before we uh, start messing with it and adhering things to it and you guys can't tell but I am standing up just to make sure that I get this on here as 
even as possible. And that looks pretty good. And it's not really sliding, so it's working pretty good. And I double checked the, um, the sentiment that I just did a few seconds ago. And eh, yeah, it is. Actually, it wasn't. And now I just moved it and it smeared ever so slightly. So I'm not touching that again for a while. All right. So now let's move on to our panels. And these are going to go on here. Now, I thought about this and I thought, do I want to use tape or do I want to use glue? Now here is my thought process. If I use tape, I have one shot. Now this is really thin. This is like thinner than printer paper. So if I don't get this right, I'm not going to be able to pull it off. If I use glue, I have at least a little bit of time to go ahead and center this, but my glue marks might show. And for this pattern paper, I didn't think you'd really see that. And for the glue marks, I think I will take the risk because I do need to be able to get this in the center and I definitely will not be able to pull it back up. <laughs> so we're just going to kind of center this up as best as possible. And again, these are handmade cards, so if it's not perfect, you know, don't stress too much. So let's go ahead and apply some glue on here. And I didn't really notice any glue marks on that one, which is good. So let's go ahead and do this one. Ah. That looks like about right. All right. And the last one. Now this is like a really quick and easy card. I think the, the longest part was probably cutting out the, um, the pieces. And I manually cut those out with my little hand uh, guillotine trimmer. Put that one there. That looks good. All right. And we have this, and I'm going to layer that on top of here. And again, I really don't want to, I already kind of smeared it a little bit, and I really don't want any more smearing, but I think we need to glue this on now. And at any point, you can definitely feel free to use dimensionals or any kind of foam squares or foam tape to pop that up. Let's just push around to give that ink a little bit more time to dry. Because this is, it's really a slick surface. So there we go. And I will also grab my butterfly, if I can find all the pieces to my butterfly that were just sitting here on my desk. Butterfly, butterfly, where did you go? Where did you go? There she went, way over there. All right, so I don't know. I don't have any spray adhesive. That would probably be my first choice, but because I don't, we're just gonna kind of dab, 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 dab all over the place. And this glue, I'm using, um, what am I using? Art glitter. There is no glitter and it does dry clear. I did a, um, I did a review on a bunch of glues not too long ago. I will leave a card up at the top here for you guys to check out. And this was one of the glues that I had reviewed. And because I have so much of it, I just started using it more and more so. And I really like it. It works really, really well. So I have some spillage there. And the thing it's with all glues is if you get some glue on black, it really shows. If you get glue on other colors, not so much, but black, it, it's always shiny, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. So for this too, while it is drying, I want the wings of this butterfly to go up just a little bit. So as you can see, I bent them up just slightly. All right, now we're going to adhere the panels. Now, 
there's not a right and wrong way, but this is approximately how I'm going to want them. It's like so. And in order to do that, I'm going to put this one on first, then I'm going to put this one on first, and then I'm going to center that one. And I think, again, I will use glue just because we have it out. And you really don't need a whole heck of a lot, as you can see, just a little bit. And I'm going to want that about there for that one. And then this one, I'm going to want to make sure that it's the even or it's even from the panel as this one is, so approximately there. So let us apply our glue to that one just a little bit. And approximately here looks about right. And then this one is going to be in the middle about there. And that looks pretty cool. So let us add the glue to this one. And I'm loving the way this is coming out. Super quick and easy. So let's go about here. And that looks really nice. I love this. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, again, you could pop this up, glue it down, whatever. For this, I am just going to go ahead and adhere this with the glue. Again, I already have it out. We will add this here, about like so. And I'm not touching the... Uh, that sentiment yet. I'm going to let that dry like so. And now for this, I'm just going to glue down the middle of the body like so. A little bit heavy because I want this to stay. And I'm going to pick a spot. I didn't even have this planned. Um, I actually kind of like it right there. And we're going to add that just like that. And as you can see, it's still gives me a lot of time to move it had I wanted to, but we are going to call that done. Now I'm going to let the glue dry and I'll probably come back and add some bling, like some purple rhinestones if I could find some in my stash, and the card will be done. So there you go. That looks really cool. I love how this came out. It was quick and easy. I have had questions on stamping the inside. And a lot of the times I will leave the inside of my cards blank. And the reason I do that is because I'm not sure at this point who I'm going to give this to or for what. So it allows me to customize the card when I do need it. So if it was for a birthday, then I'll grab maybe a happy birthday. If it was a get well, I'd grab a get well stamp and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and allow this to dry a little bit, add my bling and I will show you the finished card at the end. All right. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. This is the finished card for today. Um, before we leave, I just wanna make sure that you guys do something good for yourself. Maybe it's buy yourself a cup of coffee or do something nice for someone else and buy them a cup of coffee. Put a smile on someone's face today. It really makes a difference. So if you have not already, please make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future and upcoming videos. All right, guys, until next time, bye.